Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in Safety Harbor, Florida. Now, one of my favorite things whenever we're traveling the country is I love outside of our folk art, people that really let their imaginations just run wild. And here in Safety Harbor is what I feel one of my favorite houses I've ever seen like this. It's called Whimsyland, AKA the Bowling Ball House. Now with me doing sideshow, one of my favorite acts to perform is pierced weightlifting. I hang bowling balls off my ears and swing them around. So when I heard there was a bowling ball house, I knew this was a, something I had to see. And we wanted to bring you along with us. So step right up, let's go for this ride. So this house is two artists, a man named Todd and a woman named Linda, that purchased this house more than 20 years ago and just started decorating it. They said they went to a flea market and there was a person giving out bowling balls and they were allowed to take 10 bowling balls and they each took 10 and then they had friends go down and take 10 and punch. So they ended up with lots and lots of bowling balls and that was the start of the star project but looking at it, I'm sure they were already creative people and already artists. We were talking to them a little bit when we came here. Super nice people letting us walk around their property, letting us film. I love when people are so opening and receptive and it's just beautiful. Like I look at their bottles going around and these beer bottles and like this is what me and Joy are now doing to our garden beds with the little the lower beer bottles. I have plans. Joy's scared of my plans. Well I think the town's more scared of my plans than I don't know. I like the ones that you put around our tree, like our little tree. Uh-huh. To um, keep in the tulips like around it. Yeah. That's a cute one. Yeah. Eventually, I have this idea involving balls and I want to make a wishing well. But we're going to take a look around and show you how beautiful this house is. Always love seeing a good old bottle tree. And like I said, bowling balls. <laughs> Lining the garden beds. Crap. Yeah. They were talking how the Florida sun does take its toll on outside our and it just evolves with time. And I never knew bowling balls crack like that, but they definitely, uh, I guess when they're in the sun for 20s of years, life happens. like the little kids play areas. Oh, I actually found a bowling pin. I always love when houses have these little free libraries. Leave a book, take a book type thing. A fun Mardi Gras entrance feel with these big court jesters and the beads. Now, they don't just create art for their house here. They actually helped founded and run the Safety Harbor Arts and Music Council, which I always like when people want to further the arts community. Look! We actually have a fish, a McFish kids playground equipment. And these bottle trees were taken on the next level with plates and mosaics on top of them. I'm talking about mosaics, this whole walkway is just incredible. That's cute, the blast horn. Yeah. I love it. It looks, reminds me like it would be a shrine. And always remember when you come to these things, leave donations, helps fund the arts continue it happening. I love the chandelier for the cups hanging from it. Greetings from Lindsay Lane. And I want to apologize if I was wrong. It's the Safety Harbor 
arts and music center, not council, that they help fund and help create more art around the world, or at least here in Florida. And if you want to give a donation to help the arts, you can right there. Such a cute little ceramic dog and this metal clown. Oh, all my favorite things, insulators and stones and bowling balls. The pillars are awesome. Yeah, the mosaics on the pillars. Looks like we have beach glass and seashells and rocks. We even have an art car. Little circuit boards and they make these beautiful twisted wire sculptures. And you might be saying, what could be cooler than one art house? Well, you know what? It's two art houses. Only as much as I dream can I be. Good saying. Joy, what? they were wrong. What? It's not in St. Augustine. It's in Safety Harbor. I found the Fountain of Youth. Oh. Uh. It is a beautiful mosaic fountain. This is a cool bile tree. You can see these are all painted plastic bottles, both the twisted metal of the tree. It's awesome. I like the stone with the metal thing. It reminds me of some sort of kinetic sculpture. Absolutely beautiful. You can keep looking and looking, finding new and new things every second. This mosaic around the windows is so beautiful. I love that in the arch they're using the little bottles. So I don't usually mix the YouTube channel with my sideshow acts, but I figured this was a special occasion. Because having a house called Bowling Ball House, and I lift bowling balls with my ears, I figured I'd let you all have a little treat and a little sideshow. So what we have here is a 14 pound bowling ball. And then what I have here are two earlobes. They're about to become friends. Yeah. It would take a real foolish man to think it's a good idea to pick a bowling ball up by his ears. Lucky for you, I am that foolish man. I know, you're all at home going, what's, what, this guy's crazy. What's the point of this? This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Well, I could top that. We can make this even stupider. You see, it only takes 12 pounds of pressure to rip off a human ear. I am going to double this way this bowling ball by spinning as fast as I can. Well, not too fast, I get dizzy easy, but fast. All right. So there's a little sideshow treat for you at home at the bowling ball house aka whimsy land well whimsy land aka bowling ball house sorry my brain's a little spun up right now it always is amazing 
to me when I see people that really let their creativity flow. To me, it's one of the most beautiful things to be so expressive of your imagination. So when we get the chance to come to these things, this whimsy land, or AKA Bowling Ball House, it always makes me so happy. And we want, we're so happy we got to share it with you. So also, if you know any spots like this mm -hmm. that we might not know, please leave those comments down below. And if you like seeing this stuff, let us know that by giving this a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel and all those good things. But we're so happy you came to watch this with us because we love finding stuff like this and we're happy to share it with you. But I think we can call it joy. I think we can. Whimsyland, been there, done that. Remember folks, safe travels. Good eats. And live life. <laughs>